Welcome friends, uh, this is Miss Lois and today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw Dory and maybe one of our friends if we have time. Um, and today we're going to, I'm going to break down the pieces and parts and we're going to put it together a little differently. Um, but this is a scientific method on how to draw and this is suitable for kids six to nine, um, but um, some five-year-olds maybe could probably also give it a try. And we're going to draw this today just using five elements of shape and they are a straight line. Now a straight line, anybody can draw a straight line, but sometimes straight lines can be really thin or sometimes they can be really thick. It's still a straight line. That's how your brain is going to register what we're going to be drawing. And then we have curve lines. Now curve lines can be a gentle curve line or it can be very curved or it can be barely curved. It's still a curve line. And then we have a circle. Now, most people try and say, oh, circle and try and make it perfect. It does not have to be perfect. Anything roundish and empty is a circle. If I fill that in, my brain registers that as a dot. So we have straight lines and curved lines and circles and dots. And we have one more element that we'll be using, and those are angle lines. Angle lines are lines that bend so much they come to a, a point. So they can be curved to a point. When you're doing hair or kind of jagged teeth like on a shark, those would be angle lines. Okay, so today, everything we draw, we're going to be using those shapes, and anybody can draw this with me today. I'll put this right here, here at the top. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, we're going to start. This is our, our Dory picture that we're going to draw here today. And we're actually going to start with the eyes, and we're going to start in the middle of our paper, right about here. Now, if you turn your paper this way, you're going to have more room to put things in the background. I'm just happy to draw it today in a landscape mode. So it's going to be, I'm sorry, portrait mode. So it's going to be up and down. And I'm going to start, um, put a dot right about here on my paper. I want to be able to have room to put everything. And we also don't want to draw too big. If we draw too big, then everything else has to be big and it makes for a very large drawing. And then sometimes you get to the edge and you want to squeeze stuff on, but don't do that. If you draw large, it's okay. Just let your drawing go off the paper, okay? No stress, we're just going to have fun. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with this eye right here, and we're going to do a gentle curve line. So if anybody, everybody can do a gentle curve line. And today I'm actually using a Paper Mate Flare Black Pens. These are a felt tip type pen. Um, this is the packaging they come in. Um, they're wonderful, they're cheap, they're, they last, they don't smear. So they're a great little pen. And if you want to draw it in pencil, go ahead. Uh, we won't be stopping to erase. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a circle so that it touches that curve line. So go ahead and do a circle that touches that curve line. Now he's got a couple of circles that are turned into dots inside there. I'm going to do my second eye and get it. It's going to be a little bit higher but it's going to be right next to it, just a little bit higher. So I've got this one here, just a little bit higher. And I am going to do a circle and make it touch on the other side as well. Now, when you draw circles and you're trying to get eyes the same size, do you see that maybe this one is a little bit smaller than that one? Even though I draw all the time, sometimes my work isn't perfect. It's okay. I've just drawn something I don't like. It doesn't mean that it's any different, but we're actually going to be coloring that in and turning it into a dot so I can make a slight adjustment and make it just a little bit bigger. And now my circles will match. I also want to put a tiny circle in the top area of my eyes. Now they don't have to match. This one's a little more smooshed than that one. And I'm going to color in that circle and turn it into the dot. What we're putting in is this little dot of white light into the eyes. This is going to cause our object to look alive. If I draw eyes and I color them in all the way, then they look dead. So go ahead and color them in so that you have two eyes looking at you. And if you think one of them maybe still looks a little bit smaller than the other or need to make an adjustment, 
Go ahead and make that adjustment now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a second curve line around each one of our eyes. Now they're very, very close. I've made them very close. That's okay. So I have two eyes looking at me and now I'm going to come over to this side. I'm going to make a bolder curve line here at the top. I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to bring it out just a little bit and bring it down to the bottom. Dory has kind of some bulging eyes and on this side I'm going to do a curve line here at the top and make it touch and color that in. This is going to give a little depth to her eye. On my other side I'm going to do a curve line and it's going to come way out all the way here to the other side. But she's got a little more of a curve line. It's a dark curve line, kind of thick. So I'm putting a second curve line here and I'm going to color that in. Again, this is going to make Dory look a little more realistic. Okay, so I've got my two eyes. Now, she's got a big curve line here up above. So I'm going to give it a little space. I'm going to do a curve line that comes up and touches the side of that eye. And on the bottom side, it's going to come down and it's going to stop. Do you see how it's really close? I'm going to bring this down and make just a little more of a line right there as well. And I'm going to start doing her head. Now this is going to look a little strange, <laughs> but I'm going to do a curve line off the top here and I'm going to bring it way over to the other side. You see that big curve line? And what I've drawn is this piece right here. So I'm drawing this curve line coming over and then I'm going to do a second curve line over here to the side. And I'm going to color that in as well. So I have kind of a block piece right there. Now kind of looks like eyebrows, I think. And I'm going to do one of the markings here over her eye. So I'm going to do about the same spacing that I have here. I'm going to put a dot on the other side just to give myself a place to start and do a curve line that comes up and down. Now it gets very thin here on the side. So I'm going to start here at the thin spot and I'm going to bring it all the way back and connect those two. Now I'm not going to color all this in today, but I'm just going to show you it when you have time, you can go ahead and color that in. Okay, I'm going to bring this down around under her eye. I'm just going to bring it, curve it back over here just to the side. And let's do this straight line. Now it's almost straight, but it's got a tiny bit of a curve in it. So I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit. So I've got a straight line here with a little bit of a bow in it. So it makes it a very gentle curve line and a curve line to do her lip. Now I'm going to bring it back, curve it, and then straighten it out. This is part of her mouth. And I'm going to do a gentle curve line underneath to connect underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and color that in and turn it into a dot. This is how your brain registers what you're seeing. And a curve line underneath for her bottom lip. So there's her bottom lip. But you know she's got a little bit of a line here so I'm going to do just a gentle curve line. Almost looks like she has a whisker but that's the other side of her mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Now I want you to notice we've got a couple of things. We've got this little fin here and a one over here on the side. So I'm going to come down over here to the side because it's actually in front. You see it's in front here. So whenever you have something that's in front, you want to draw that first. So I'm going to do a gentle curve line. I'm going to bring it all the way up. It's close to this line. Stop. Make it an angle line. Big curve line. Bring it down and stop. And just to kind of connect it, I'm going to put a little tiny curve line in between there. Now this is her other side. So I'm going to put, we can't see the whole thing, but I'm going to put another angle line, a line that curves, comes to a point, and comes back on the other side. And she's got a huge kind of chin, right? Very huge. And it comes down to underneath here. So I'm going to start, put a dot underneath here. 
Um, what I'm doing is I'm bringing it down to about here and I'm going to do a curve line and we're going to bring it all the way up to the edge of those lips. So I've got a curve line coming up to the edge of her lips. There again, I've got another fin right over here and it's a little curve line we're going to start with and then I'm going to do two curve lines. Short one here and a much longer one here on the bottom. Two curve lines. And if you look, we have a curve line that goes one direction, curves the other way, and comes back. So I'm going to do a, a curvy line here to connect them. And I've got a little bit of a gap here. I'm just going to connect it right there. Pretend that line goes all the way through the fin and put a dot on the other side. Now we've got a couple of marks here on this fin, and we've got a straight line that's going to stop and a second straight line that comes down to the side and a curved line here all the way to the base. And if you want, you can go ahead and put some curved lines or straight lines on the fin. I'm going to put a mixture of some straight lines and some curved lines. This second fin over here is right about at the same point. So if I put a little dot, just Pretend my line goes all the way through, put a little dot here on the other side, and I'm going to do a real curvy line on the other side. It almost looks like she's saying, ooh, and I'm going to do width about the same width here, but I'm going to do a curve line here. This one is a little bit curvy, comes up, goes straight, and then curves around and touches. And a curve line here. Now I can color that in later, but there we have our two fins. Let's go ahead and work on getting this back tail uh, together. So we're going to come to the other side here. We're going to do a curve line that goes in a little bit and back out. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit more. So I have a space. You see my space there? I don't want to connect them all the way. Just want to leave them together just for a minute. And then I'm going to curve it way out. Same thing on this side. I'm going to do a very tight curve line and bring it way out. And I'm going to connect those. So I'm going to do a curve line, bring it out, another curve line. So it comes to a point on the tips of the fins. And Dory's got some interesting markings here. Let's go ahead and put that. We're going to put a curve line right there in the middle of the fin with some straight lines. And if you want to connect it all the way to the tip, you can. Just some straight lines there. She's got this little mark here. Now, I, don't, I made this fin a little bit fatter than I did in this drawing, but I still can put it in there. I might just hide it behind this other one. And I know that all this is going to be dark and filled in. So let's go ahead and finish that part here. Let's bring this down and we're going to connect it to the back of the fin right there. I'm going to see how I connect it here. I did have a little bit of a curve line, a thick curve line that comes out to a point and comes back. So let's go ahead and do that. Curve line that comes down, out to a point, going to come back and back. So it's really close there. I'm just going to color it in just a little bit so you can see how close that is. You can see how fast these pens actually work. If you have a thin Sharpie, you could use that as well. So let's finish this marking here. So we've got a curve line that's going to come down underneath this her fin right there, and then it's going to connect back up over here to here. So I'm going to start right about here, curve it down, bring it up, make it go behind there, come out the other side, and connect. So there's kind of my Dory. And Dory, I've got to put some circles here to make those bubbles. And they don't have to be perfect. I can put a bubble that looks like that. But I've got some little marks. When you do bubbles, a lot of times the light really shines in them. So you can do a little tiny square. It makes it look like a diamond. Or you can make it curved. That helps kind of the light is reflecting. Same thing with the eyes, the light is reflecting. So now we kind of have a, a nice, nice dory. 
And if you have time, you can go ahead and color the background in here. All this area here is going to be colored in. Okay, let's do our little turtle friend here. Um, same thing with the eyes. Do you notice how similar in style the eyes are? We're going to start with the eyes, and we're going to do this curve line here. So I'm doing one curve line there. I'm going to do a space. This one is a little bit higher, just like we did over here. This one's a little bit higher. And, you know, his eyes are actually going to be the same size. So let me make this one a little bit longer. So really, those are about the same size. And they've got these weird little curve lines here. So a tight curve line, bring it back, not all the way, and do another one right next to it. Same thing on the other side. Do a curve line here and a second one right next to it. Now we're going to do a curve line in between. On the bottom side, we're going to do a curve line and another one and a curve line and another one and then connect them together. And now I've got to do my eyes. We're going to do the same way we did Dory's. So we're going to do a curve line. Bring it all the way around so it's a circle, so it touches that. Bring it all the way around so it touches. Are they about the same size? They look about the same size to me. I'm going to put my smooshed little circle in the top. Color that in. Same thing on this other side. I like to start with the eyes. Because then your character is looking at you, kind of begging you to make them finish and fully come alive. And I'm going to do, now this one, it, it's real close here at the corner, so it's a real tight, right there in the corner, do a curve line, so that it touches and comes back and touches right into that corner. Same thing on this side, real tight, not too far away. We have the two eyes. Eyes are much more bulbous, so we're going to come up a little bit and do bigger eye. Same thing on the other side. A bigger eye. So we have our two eyes looking at us. Let's go ahead and put his little mouth down below. And he has a little bit of a spacer here and here. So um, I don't have a lot of room on mine. I put his eyes kind of crooked on this one. It's okay. I'm going to put a little curve line here and connect it. Same thing up here. So his eyes don't look like they're just floating in the sky. So now I have his two eyes. Let's go ahead and do his body. Big curve line here on the back. We're going to start from the middle of his eye here and do a big curve line on his back. Now his turtle shell starts actually way down here. And I'm going to do a curve line coming up, up, up. And I'm going to curve it to the back because it's got some ridges. So we're going to do a second curve line kind of close to the first one we just did. And I'm going to do one more. And this one I'm going to put some curves in as I go, some little bumps. So that's kind of his turtle shell, but then he's got these markings on the bottom. So I'm going to do a curve line here, curve line here, curve line here. So I give some place to start, and they come up to the top, a little bit of a straight line, and curve. Curve up to the top, a little bit of a straight line, and curve. Curve line up, a bit of a straight line, and I can't really see the other side, and I'm going to mimic those shapes in the middle, and I'm going to actually put one more over here so I can kind of see that he's got more of those pieces coming off the back. Make him look a little more real, and a smushed circle on top. Okay, so there is um, that part, we're going to start with his stomach here in the middle. We're going to center it kind of underneath our turtle shell. There's our gentle curve line. I'm going to start with this back flipper here, and I'm going to do a couple little curve lines right there just to give it a little more definition. It's got some wrinkles on the back flipper, and another little curve line right here. Now, his flippers are not huge. We're going to start here on the side and do a curve line that comes out comes all the way back, comes down just a little bit, and then it's going to stop, and I did another curve line right there. 
He's got these markings all over, smush circles. You can make them however you want. Just try and keep the spacing about the same on his flippers. So do you see I'm making different shapes, kind of keeping the spacing even or close to even. Some of these are small, some of them are big. You can make a bunch of little ones if you wanted. Okay, that's his back flipper. We see just a hint of this other flipper here on the other side, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a curve here just to show he's got that other one and put a few little curved lines on the back. Now he's got his arm here. It's a little more pronounced. You see all the wrinkles going here? So we're going to do a gentle curve line here, and I'm going to bring up the sides, curve it, bring it up, and I'm going to do another one on top, a little curve line, a little curve line. Do you see how I made those those two pieces touch, and that helps make the arm attached to the body. And his front flippers have a little bit more of an arch to them, so we're going to do a gentle curve line here, and a gentle curve line that's not quite so big. This one's longer, this one's a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to start here, and I'm going to do a big curve line here to the back. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit, do a little bump, another one, bring it back, another one, Bring it back to a touch. It's got a lot of different ridges. There's no angle lines in there. It's just a series of curve lines. And I overlapped. You see how I have it coming up here just a little bit? There again, let's go ahead and put those shapes on his flippers. You can make them all squinchy, however you want it to look. The more you put on, the more realistic he's going to look. Just put a bunch of little circles in here, and I'm going to put some little tiny ones. It also makes it fun to color when you put all those little tiny ones in. So I've got this one, and I'm going to go over here to the other side of his arm, and I'm going to do a curve line that's going to come down, and it's going to touch under his chin. Now I just have to do the second arm that's here on the back. And I'm going to do underneath, I'm going to do one curve line here, another one. I'm going to leave a little bit of a break in between. I'm going to do that front arm. It's going to come down. Now I'm getting close to this edge of my paper. I'm just going to let it go right off the paper. I'm not going to worry about it. If you have a little more room, you can bring it back. It's, his foot would actually, his flipper would probably come to right about there. I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. I'm going to do this gentle curve line here. And then I'm going to do some of those ridges for the back part. Do my small little circles on the front. So now I have my two little characters. Maybe to make it look a little more real, I'll show you how to make seagrass. I didn't put it on this one, but it's very, very easy to do. To make it interesting, do a gentle curve line on your paper. Start at the top, do a gentle curve line. Almost looks like an arrow, right? Now I want you to do curvy lines all the way down. Make it close to that one you just did. On the other side, do the same thing, curvy lines, down, curvy, curvy, curvy. Look at that, you made seagrass. If I want to make some seagrass bend, because of the wind, the waves might be making it bend a little bit, I'm going to do a curve line, have it go through the side, and I can have it bend over this way. And then I can do the same thing, make my little arrow at the top, curve it, curve it, curve it, go back behind it. This one's in front. And if I wanted to say that maybe it's all on one side, I could make it look like maybe it's folded. And instead of going to this other side, I can go to this side. Do you see how cool that looks? Looks like it's folded up almost like a leaf. There you go. There's my Dory lesson for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is part of the Kids Drawing Channel, and I'll be posting full lessons on my website that you can download and do. But these are some freebies I'm going to be posting. I hope you enjoyed it.